What do you think? Would you be considered hot in China, Korea, and Japan? Well, let's find out. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to Multicultural Lingo, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of languages and cultures. Today, we are going to delve into the world of beauty standards in three East Asian countries, China, Korea, and Japan. Beauty standards aren't just about physical appearances. They're a mirror that reflects the values, history, and societal norms of a culture. From the ancient times to the contemporary era, these standards have evolved and transformed, influenced by many factors, including politics, economy, and globalization. For example, in China, modern beauty standards have a rich and varied history, reflecting societal changes and cultural shifts. Moving eastwards in the Korean peninsula, the pursuit of perfection is deeply ingrained in the beauty narrative. Korea, known as the beauty capital of Asia, has set a new global standard for beauty with its advanced cosmetics industry and an emphasis on a youthful, flawless appearance. Finally, we land in Japan, an island nation that cherishes natural aesthetics. So, would you be considered hot in these three East Asian countries? Let's find out. In China, beauty is often associated with grace and elegance. A land of ancient traditions, China's beauty standards are deeply rooted in its history and culture. For example, fair skin is highly valued and still seen as an emblem of purity and nobility. This standard dates back to ancient times when a fair complexion was associated with the rich class who didn't have to work under the sun. A Chinese idiom, which translates to, one white hides three ugliness, reflects this preference. It means that if a woman has a good skin, clean, smooth, and white, she is beautiful, even if she has not a good face or body shape. A slender figure is also prized, a symbol of femininity and elegance. The Chinese saying, or willow waist light and graceful captures this ideal, likening a woman's figure to the slender and graceful willow tree. Do you have a small nose with a slight upward tilt and big eyes? Well, these features are considered attractive, drawing inspiration from traditional paintings and sculptures. But China's beauty standards are not just about physical features. They also emphasize inner beauty, valuing virtues like grace, intelligence, and kindness. In China, being smart equals being hot. Here, the most popular guy and girl in a school are called a jiaohua, the school's flower, and they are not only good-looking, but also smart and have good grades. In Korea, the pursuit of perfection shapes the beauty standards. This drive for the ideal is embodied in their unique beauty standards, which focus heavily on specific facial features and a flawless complexion. A cornerstone of Korean beauty is the emphasis on having clear, radiant skin, which is where the new glass skin trend is coming from. Koreans invest a great deal of time and effort into their skincare routines to achieve what they call good people, meaning honey skin, which is healthy, supple, and radiant. Other two fundamental aspects of Korean beauty standards are the double eyelid and a slim, V-shaped jawline, which is at the basis of many Koreans taking pictures while covering their chin with their hands. These features are so desired that many opt for cosmetic procedures to create these coveted folds. Then there's the small face ideal which is shared with China. In Korea, having a small face is considered attractive and feminine. The influence of K-pop stars and Korean drama actors on beauty standards cannot be understated. These celebrities with their impeccable style and picture-perfect features have become the epitome of Korean beauty. They fuel the nation's pursuit of perfection, inspiring millions to emulate their looks. Yet, it's important to remember that these standards are not set in stone. Korean beauty is constantly evolving, influenced by shifting cultural trends and global influences, but one thing remains constant, the pursuit of perfection. It's this relentless pursuit that pushes the boundaries, constantly redefining what it means to be beautiful. In essence, Korea's beauty standards are a testament to the country's obsession with perfection, as seen in some K-dramas like Mask Girl. In Japan, the beauty standards revolve around natural aesthetics. The Japanese idea of beauty is an enchanting blend of simplicity and subtlety. The makeup isn't ostentatious, but rather, it's minimal, designed to enhance the natural features of the face. Just as in China and Korea, you'll often see a preference for a slim figure reflecting the value of modesty and restraint in Japanese society. However, here being natural is way more important than being perfect. Teeth and eyebrows play a significant role in this aesthetic. In Japan, Yeba. literally double tooth refers to upper canines with an uncommon appearance or simply to a tooth overlapping another. This is perceived as a sign of youthfulness and natural beauty. Straight eyebrows are considered highly attractive too. This trend called Hikimayu. 
dates back to the Heian period, is a testament to Japan's deep-seated appreciation for understated elegance. The influence of traditional Japanese culture on these standards is profound. The concept of wabi-sabi, which embraces the beauty in imperfection and transience, is a fundamental element of Japanese aesthetics. It's not about achieving an ideal of perfection but rather finding beauty in authenticity. Despite the geographical proximity, beauty standards in China, Korea and Japan are very distinct. Each country, with its unique interpretation of beauty, contributes to the diverse tapestry of Asian aesthetics. China's graceful elegance, Korea's pursuit of perfection, and Japan's natural aesthetics all serve as varying strokes on this grand canvas. So, in which country your features are most appreciated? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more language and culture content.